The protest attracted traditional and religious leaders, politicians, musicians, the youth, headquarters, concerned drivers, among others. A traditional priest, Numo Belimfu, set the tone for the march. Other leaders also spoke. We must stand for them and ensure that this thing will not take place in our time. That in our time, we will continue to do what we have to do for the sake of our children. The protest progressed from the Obra Sports to Adabraka and the National Theatre. They first presented a petition to the Attorney General's office. Article 11 of the 1992 Constitution states the sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people of Ghana, in whose name and for whose welfare the, we the powers of government are to be executed. Later, the protesters continued with their march and finally presented a petition to the Chief Justice. Leader of the protest, Sam George, gave a two weeks ultimatum to the Chief Justice to begin hearing on the case. The Muslim Ummah led under His Eminence the Chief, the Chief Imam of the Republic and all other Christian medical bodies and groups across the nation, including Arise Ghana and Concerned Drivers Union, petition you as follows. One, to please, and we plead, schedule hearings for the next two, for the two aforementioned cases immediately as a matter of urgency within the next two weeks so that the cases can be determined. Two, to take steps to ensure that the rulings on these cases are readily available to feed into the completion of the national legislative process on the pro-family values bill in line with Article 106 of the Constitution. Three, to provide kindly directions for a long-term solution that ensures timely and effective access to justice for all citizens, even during judicial breaks and vacation. The new team also spoke with other protesters. I have prepared and I've raised my hand to vote against them. Yes. Because I don't care whether I am a Christian or I'm a pagan or I'm a what and what. So far as I am a human being who hates the gayism, I will vote against them. Mr. President, we are the women of Ghana. We hold this country. If not because of a woman, you will not be born. A woman born you. Your father got your mother pregnant and you were born. Why do you want us to go into this case? We are not in Soto and Gomorrah. We are in Ghana. That we don't want it in Ghana. Joseph Armstrong, Good, Alibi TV3, Accra.